Now that Crisis 1 is over, let's go see if this PDA works. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Well, with everything, I better start a journal, so this will be day one. I decided to take a look around my surroundings to figure out where I am, and for what I know, I'm shit out of luck. The ship that I was on is now sitting in the water in a pretty wreck. I have this fire extinguisher for protection. Protection from what? From what all I know is this is a water planet and few go to, and I just wanted to have a relaxing cruise, and this is what I get. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Awesome. My PDA shows me to break some rock with my hands. Well, I guess I'm pretty powerful on this planet. Copper, sure glad my PDA talks to me or I'll go insane. Equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely and plausible. I find something called acid mushrooms. Hmm. There's a joke in there somewhere, but I can't find it. For some reason, I keep on hearing some music in my ears. I wonder if it's from the PDA or some song from the alien fish or something that I keep seeing around me. Am I going crazy? Just 10 minutes on this planet already? Yep, definitely going crazy. I've been hearing sounds of something that sounds like a massive fart uh, underwater. I don't know. Whatever it is, I hope it's not hostile. Uh, I do. I did find some glowy kelp bulbs, and I wonder what I can make anything from it. They seem like a nice a night light that I can use on the pod. PDA says they're creep vines. Now that's just creepy. I think I found the source of the huge fart sounds. It's a gigantic whale. Man, it's huge. Oh, well, that's not what she said. But damn. This looks like the whale's back home, but with long tentacles come out from its butt. Who knows? It's alien, I guess. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. You would think this fabricator could make beer and pizza, but no! Weapons 
were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Just because one guy took a thermal cannon and killed everyone on the crash doesn't mean we can't all have thermal cannons.